عاش الغني فستغنى عاشر الفقير فستفقر or in English as the saying goes befriend the rich and you shall be richer befriend the poor and you shall be poorer believe it or not this is one of the little statements that has probably changed my life forever my dad would recite this to me every other day ever since I was 15 and to be perfectly honest I'd like to confess for that I'm very thankful over time especially at the times of university I started realizing how important this statement is and how critical it is in my life. And I believe it is extremely important and extremely significant for you to understand it, for you to take it on board, for you to understand what this philosophy truly means. And let me tell you this from now, if you're thinking about money, you're wrong. So buckle up, we're about to dig deep, let's discuss. This is the Inspire Podcast, the place for all the change makers in this world. Keep an eye out to hear all the stories, the experiences, and the life lessons that could impact your life forever. You'll be hearing from me and from young entrepreneurs as well as leaders about what inspired them to inspire others and how they defy the status quo in their own style. Hussein speaking here and I want to thank you for taking the time to listen to this episode. I promise it'll be worth the while. But without further ado, it's another day, another topic, another lesson. Let's begin. You're probably wondering, what is the rich? What is the poor? And what exactly am I referring to? Many people like myself will think I'm referring to money. Others will think I'm referring to fame, some others will think I'm relating to kindness, etc. But the truth is, being rich in this case refers to nothing but being rich in mindset, in ambition, and in motivation. The reason my dad always recited this to me back in the day, it's because it was one of his main reasons for success, really. The people he met pushed him forward and helped him to grow every single day, second by second. Now, I'm sure this won't surprise you, but that one phrase was my companion in the past 10 years or so. And of course, as the time passed by, I was struck by a lot of curiosity, especially at the times of university. And I kept asking myself the question, what did my father mean? Over time at university, I came across a lot of theories and concepts, of course, as anyone else would. One of those being the fact that you're the average of the group or some other beautiful quotes such as, show me your friends and I'll simply show you your future. And then at that instance, it made all the sense. When I gave it an objective look, I noticed the categories of people in this world. I had met those that would enlighten my world with every conversation, with every chat and in every gesture. Even when we were being stupid, we were always willing to discuss things and actually listen to each other. These were the people that inspired me day after day, second after second. However, there were the other kind of people. The people that lived by routine. The people that didn't care about doing anything new. People that didn't care about making a difference. These are also the people that willingly wanted to stay poor. And from my very humble experience, of course, my advice is this. Life is too short to waste it on sugarcoating conversations with poor people or living a poor person's life just to fit in or whatever. Get out there and seek those who are rich. Seek those who will make a difference in your life. Seek those that can actually inspire you and make you move from one step to the other. Because only then will you be able to wake up with a different reality, a different mindset, a different perspective to how things should happen, and perhaps a different perspective to your life altogether. Now, of course you ask, it sounds easy. It's easier said than done. That yes, it makes total sense to meet rich people. It makes total sense to ignore poor people, now that we understand that rich and poor being mentality. What do we do? What is the action plan? How do you meet the rich people? How do you get to a point where you sit down with people that are willing to discuss things? Because I'm 100% sure that every person listening to this podcast, you want to do that. You want to be living this exact life where you're surrounded by a lot of rich people. Let me tell you exactly how, and it's a very, very simple way. You really have to do something which is you need to live the same way rich people do. You need to read the books, watch the news, stay up to date. As weird as it may sound, watch a few TED Talks and don't necessarily watch Netflix all the time. Watch documentaries, try to be open for discussions and dialogues and avoid the one-way stream communication, which I call screaming, of course, especially in this part of the world. You need to be willing and ready to live under the rich people's attitudes and behaviors. And these attitudes and behaviors are based on the core factors 
of willing to be proactive, willing to listen, willing to have an, a conversation, willing to negotiate and willing to actually give constructive feedback and to receive constructive feedback as well. And most importantly, an attitude and a behavior with a will to change, a will to change to the better all the time. Now, the magic in this is very simple. When you start living under the rich person's attitudes or rich person's behaviors, you will slowly change to become them. And as you slowly change to become them, you will slowly repel those who are poor because you no longer fit, you no longer have the same conversation, you no longer go to the same places, you no longer feel comfortable talking about the same exact topics. And this is exactly the point of magic. This is exactly where the magic happens in your life. Slowly, you will be meeting those who are rich again. And then in no time, you will have yourself a new group of people that can help you change dramatically and can help you see the world in a totally different perspective and totally different lens for the first time ever. To move to the other question, which is a very simple question and perhaps a very critical one as well. Why is it even important to meet rich people? Why does it make a difference? Let me give you a simple belief in my life. I truly believe that life is similar to a few droplets and lines connected and scattered all around. Every time you take one action or one move, the lines connect. It's a very simple idea. With every line connecting, the picture expands, of course. And as you can guess, any next move you take, there's a new line that's, that, that comes up and that's connected between the circles or between the droplets. But although the further you go, the more you forget about the previous lines and droplets, as we all do, you need to keep in mind that it all started at one certain point in your life. You need to understand that every single decision you've taken, every single move you've taken, it all goes back to a certain situation, to a certain scenario, to a certain condition. And what I'm trying to tell you here is that there's no such thing as coincidence. If you were to track any decision, look at your life right now and think back. Why are you where you are today and what caused it? In very simple terms, since we're talking about the rich and the poor, that rich person you met 10 years ago might be the reason for your next big event, your next big partnership, or your next big startup. You will never know until the time comes and the lines connect eventually. Whenever you meet rich people, the reason it's important, besides the fact that it can help you later on, and it could be the, one of the reasons for your successes in the near future, it is extremely important to meet these people because it can put your ego to sleep. Now, what does that even mean? Let me share with you a little story. And through the story, I hope it becomes evident or clear of what exactly I'm trying to, am I trying to say. At the end of 2019, I came with an idea, a very simple idea. And the idea was this. I wanted to start a public speaking workshop, a workshop that can help others learn how to public speak. So essentially making people better public speakers so they can change the world eventually. If you would know Kuwait enough, you'd realize that there isn't much or many workshops happening around Kuwait. And as you can imagine, I felt very fulfilled. I felt that I was doing something new. I felt I was stepping outside of comfort zone. I felt like I was doing something that not many people were doing. And as you can imagine, ego would hit. And this is the step where you become very arrogant and ignorant and where you feel like you're overachieving or you're way beyond, you're way ahead of the curve, etc. And this is very natural. Until one day, I went to another workshop event. Um, it was a storytelling event. And in that event, I came across and I encountered the founder of the event. And I was having a very short conversation with him. And I told him, fantastic job on what you're doing. Uh, but can you please tell me more about it? And as we start talking, I come to a realization that whatever it is that I was doing, compared to what this guy was doing, it's incomparable. He was running events in London, Dubai, Saudi Arabia, and Kuwait. And he was running four to six events, different events from different categories. I realized that for so long, for the past three months or so, when I was running my workshop, I was so blinded by thinking that I was so fulfilled. I was at the edge of settling. I was at the edge of being comfortable with being comfortable. If you were to track this specific episode, if we were to track my life and the dots back, you're going to realize that we are going to encounter that person that I met. We are going to go back to the times that I was at university, talking to different people, talking to the rich people that I used to talk to. We are going to go back to the conversation. Back when I was 15, sitting on that couch, and my dad is telling me, son, you should befriend the rich, and you shall be richer, and befriend the poor, and you shall be poorer. It all goes back to the source. And in very simple terms, and this is one of the most critical things I've learned along the way, Plant your seeds now and you never know when you're going to harvest. One seed will lead to another. And I promise you this, 
in no time, you're going to have a lot to harvest. You cannot have all the eyes, of course, to see what's coming your way and what could come and what not. But if you were to meet rich people, you're giving yourself access to all the eyes in the world, all the eyes to the people that want you to succeed. And you know, I'm going to wrap up this concept in a very simple quote by one of my favorite authors, Robert Kiyosaki. He said, there's a difference between being poor and being broke. Broke is temporary and poor is eternal. I would love it if you closed this podcast and thought to yourself, what are my next steps? Who am I going to talk to? And who do I even want to talk to? And whoever it is that I'm talking to right now, how are they making a difference in my life? Ask yourself these questions and start planting your seeds now because your harvest will come soon. And I truly look forward to that. This is the episode for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I truly do. I look forward to hearing all of your feedback and your comments. Please do share them with me. Please like and share this with your friends. I would be very thankful. So again, thank you for listening. It's such a pleasure. And I really cannot wait for next week to share with you another story, another topic with a lot of experiences. 